Trung and Lynn, I know we started the show talking about the flooding in Texas and viewers had some questions for you. Mm -hmm. We got an email from our viewers at Jeff and Marion in Henderson and they just moved here to Las Vegas. So they were asking these questions and maybe some of you are asking the same ones. Is it possible for Vegas to see the same flooding as Kerrville, Texas? And question two, how can we prepare for floods in our area? Well, Jeff and Marion, a great question. I'll answer the first question. Yes, Las Vegas can experience flash flooding, but it's usually not as intense or widespread as the one we saw in Kerrville. The difference is Las Vegas sees flash flooding from brief heavy downpours during monsoon, monsoon season, and Kerrville sees more river flooding from prolonged rain. So quick comparison here, the types of flood that we get here in Las Vegas flash flood due to the uh, thunderstorms during monsoon season and Kerrville sees river floods due to the Guadalupe River that runs through the town of Kerrville and how it starts Las Vegas short bursts of heavy rain in Kerrville lots of rain over a period of time they saw rounds and rounds of rain through the last couple of days when that storm system moved on in and duration Las Vegas when it comes to the floods minutes to hours but in Kerrville hours to days and they saw Major flooding from July 4th through the 7th in the affected areas in Las Vegas, streets and low-lying areas, and in Kerrville, river creeks and homes. And the second question, how can we prepare for floods in our area? Well, clean out the gutters and drains around your house and definitely don't block those storm drains out there on the roadways. And remember, never drive through flooded roads. Turn around, don't drown. And six inches of water is enough to cause you to lose control of your car. And 12 inches can float most cars. So thank you, Jeff and Marion, for that email. I hope this helps you out.